St. Patrick's and Grove United faced off in the Under-18 Keith Hamilton Cup Final. St. Patrick's started the match with intent and drove upfield through Declan Shannon, but his cutback across goal was well met by Grove goalkeeper Ben William Crossley. Grove sent the ball upfield, where the sliding intervention of an off-his-line Caden Burns saw a free kick awarded and a yellow card brandished for the St. Patrick's goalkeeper. The dead ball was not to trouble Burns from the edge of the area. St. Patrick's drove forward with enterprise through Kian Lindsay who laid off for Podrick McMaster, who in turn set up the shot, but it was wide, with an offside also given. It was a nervy moment in defence for Grove when Finlay McMullen intercepted a short play out, but Crossley was on his guard. A lovely piece of ball playing down the right by St Patrick's culminated in captain Cormac McCaffrey setting McMullen behind the line. He squared across the face of goal, but it was just beyond McMaster's reach. Next up, a punt up field was picked up by the lively McMullen, and the St. Patrick's attacker set up McMaster to put it in the net, but the linesman's flag interrupted celebrations. It was clear St. Patrick's had no intention of letting up the pressure, but an offside was ruled. Grove looked to lay their gauntlet, although Burns was well positioned to handle a fizzing drive from the edge of the box. Burns then launched up the pitch and found McMullen in stride and St. Patrick's won a free kick for a handball by Jason and Sway. From this, Crossley held from Shea Foster's try. To start the second half, Grove supplied a delivery towards the back stick where Joseph Golden hooked back into the six yard area. Philip Gary connected and despite some vehement protestations from the sideline for offside, his side footer from close range counted as the opening goal of the contest. Grove find themselves in with a chance of swiftly doubling their advantage from 12 yards when Ryan Flaherty upended Gary. Gary himself stepped up and shot home with confidence. St. Patrick's looked for a quick response, though Colonel Braniff fired over here. The theatre was ramped, however, when a threatening crossed supply by Shane Olsop was confidently placed into the bottom right by McMaster. It halved the deficit for St. Patrick's. With Grove having also been reduced to 10 men due to an off the ball incident, St. Patrick's had wind in their sails and counted on Oshin Maskey's looping ball to find someone. McCaffrey was the recipient and he headed in from mere yards out to equalise. 2-2 at full time, it was to penalties. <laughs> 